Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Uh, Matt Taibbi, a respected reporter who published much of the Twitter files, said, quote, Twitter's contact with FBI was constant and pervasive, as if it were a subsidiary. Now, I want to better understand why he would suggest that. Mr. Roth, while at Twitter, how many meetings did you have with the FBI? I couldn't say for sure, but I More would than say 10? That's a reasonable More than 20? estimate. I couldn't say for sure. More than 50? That seems a bit high. Many meetings with the FBI. Well, we know uh, uh, how many FBI agents worked at Twitter while you were there? I don't believe any active FBI Former agents. Former FBI agents. How many worked there while you were there? I'm aware of perhaps two. Well, we know of at least nine um, because they started the BU group chat, BU for Bureau. Now, Mr. Roth, did the FBI ever ask you to share information like users' communication data without going through proper legal channels? No, they did not, and I would have refused if they had. Um, that's correct. I see that you denied Agent Chan's request for access to Twitter's data feed. What's sick isn't that you would deny it. Uh, it's that the FBI would even ask you for the private data of American citizens without going through legal channels of the law. Now, I want to remind you, Mr. Roth, that you are under oath. Did the FBI ever ask you to do anything that was illegal or questionably legal? I'm not a lawyer, but certainly not to the best of my recollection or knowledge. Now, from the hearing that I've been a part of today, um, it's almost impossible to tell where the FBI ends and where Twitter begins. We have Mr. Baker here, a former FBI agent, and there seems to be a revolving door between the FBI and Twitter itself. Um, even Mr. Baker said that there was no collusion with the federal government and Twitter. But Mr. Baker, that's you. You are the collusion between the federal government and the FBI. And now, with it, this is such a problem because... We're seeing censorship all over. Mr. Roth, Ms. Gaddy, did either of you approve the shadow banning of my account at Lauren Boebert? Yes or no? No, I did not. Not to the best of my recollection. Well, let me refresh your memory because on March 12, 2021, and Mr. Roth, I know you looked at it because Fascist Twitter 1.0 had a public interest exceptions policy, which means for members of Congress to be shadow banned, it had to go before you, Mr. Roth. So I'll ask again, did you shadow ban my account, yes or no? Again, not to the best of my recollection. So the answer is, Mr. Roth, yes, you did. I found out last night from Twitter staff that you suppressed my account for this tweet. It's a freaking joke about Hillary Clinton being angry that she couldn't rig her election. It's a joke. But in response, being the sinister overlords that you all are, you placed a 90-day account filter so I could not be found. And now we see here that Twitter staff said the visibility filter on my account excluded me from top searches, prevented notifications for non-followers, and much more. This is considered an aggressive visibility filter. You silenced members of Congress from communicating with their constituents. You, you silenced me from communicating with the American people over a freaking joke. Now, who the hell do you think that you are? Election interference? Yeah, I would say that that was taking place because of you four sitting here. The Hunter Biden laptop story was suppressed. A sitting member of Congress was suppressed. A, a sitting president was banned from Twitter. You know, I bet that Putin is sitting in the Kremlin wishing he had as much election intervention interference as you four here today. We've heard about threats to democracy. Well, what about shutting down a duly elected member of Congress? This is fundamental to our nation's governance, and you all attacked that very foundation. 230 protections? Well, those are for publishers, not for editors. And it's clear you are not acting as publishers, you are acting as editors. And Mr. Chairman, I think it's far past time that we remove 230 protections for, for big tech platforms who are abusing this protection.
And let me just say, I'm not angry for myself. I'm not angry because I was silenced. I can reach out to Elon and to his staff, and I can see what's happened. And I can sit here today and hold you all in account. I am angry for the millions of Americans who were silenced because of your decisions, because of your actions, because of your collusion with the federal government. They can't reach out to Elon. They can't sit here today and hold you into account. We don't know where the FBI ends and Twitter begins.